Over the past year and a half, we've had a lot of comments and questions coming in regarding RV toilets from our viewers. Some of them asked about how they can access the water system because they didn't winterize it and it froze. Others wanted to add a spray nozzle to it. Some of them wanted to change out the toilet altogether because it was the plastic kind that's hard to clean and doesn't have quite the, the water flow in it to, to help clean it. So that gave us an opportunity with this unit here, which is a Sealand or Traveler, and it is a porcelain one, but it's the very low style. So we're gonna put in a larger one, but this will give us a good opportunity to show how you can access those water lines and the inner workings of this toilet. So we're gonna start off by taking off the outside handle here first. And all this is, as you can see, it's just a decorative piece that goes on there, but it gives us really good access to all our valves, so forth, in here, um, water lines and everything. So the next thing we're going to do is just take the shroud off the bottom. There we go. And that gives us good access to that. And now we've gotten everything out of the way here. Um, we see we do have access to the bolts on the bottom side of it here. And we're just gonna take a, what size do we have? There we go. Okay, once we've gotten those loosened, the next thing I'm going to do before I get too far into the inside of this is I'm going to put some gloves on even though this is fairly clean. We just want to put a plastic bag here. Just in case. All right, now we should be able to pull this out. And that'll give us access to our water lines. Grab them, pop off, and simply take apart. So now while we've got this here, you can see that once you have access, you've taken those the shroud off, you have access to the valve. This is the part here that would probably crack and be pretty easy to replace. Usually it's best just to take it out and do it on the vent. So with that, we're going to take this out and we're going to prep this area, get ready to put our new one in. So we came into a little situation here. Our mounting bolts on this flange here are four in a row we need these to be off to the side like this so I'm gonna take this flange off um, see if I can move it around to the side or if I, I need to put a different adapter in but we need these bolts to be off to the side and they're pretty rusted here so we're gonna have to soak them down really good I might even have to cut them off so we'll uh, we'll take a look at that and then we'll mount our toilet so now we've got our toilet in. We did have to put in a new adapter um, in the base plate of this to fit those two holes. We did also bust one of these bolts. You can, you can see it right here. Uh, they are replaceable. You can get them from Thetford or from uh, uh, the other toilet manufacturers. Pretty common item here. So now we've got the units mounted. Uh, what we're going to need to do is hook up our water and just fasten these up. We've got a nice porcelain toilet at a better height and a really nice spray pattern inside here. So we got a pretty nice unit, very easy to do, very accessible.